Welcome to Root Stem, and in today's video, we are going to be painting an Anbot for Necromunda. So painting this Anbot is going to be quite easy. You are going to require an airbrush, and before we continue, please like, share, subscribe. All the usual gubbins you do to YouTube channels, it does help us out quite a lot. And uh, at times, provides me with pocket money to buy more miniatures like this, especially if you're watching adverts. Starting off on this particular figure, I'm going to go for a look that is yellow. Hopefully, you've seen that on the thumbnail. And we are going to be using various companies' media, um, mainly Green Stuff World, because I really like their gear. Uh, some of it is quite unique, quite special. It's more. Some of the stuff you can get from them is more display pieces, but when it comes to one-off unique figures like this, it's, it's really good stuff to be able to give you a very unique look. We're also going to be using Games Workshop paints. Of course, I own a lot of Games Workshop paints because it's the easiest for me to be able to purchase. But if you want, always substitute it with an alternative if you can. Uh, but we are going to be using some Games Workshop contrast. I don't know if there's any alternatives out on the market at the moment. Mainly going to be using Nasdrag Yellow. Apologise if my arm went across the seam. So as you can see, we've begun the figure by making sure that it is sprayed with black. Now we're going to be doing a metallic light look. Um, hopefully you've seen that from the thumbnail. And um, the metallic look is going to be actually earned more from the use of this. This is Mystic White Metal Colour from Green Stuff World. We're going to be using this to create a wonderful highlight. Now, when I actually put this into the airbrush, we, uh, I'm going to have to clean the airbrush out, but we, I just normally use a little bit of water, uh, a little bit of floor improver. More floor improver than water with this particular type of colour because I do want it to be able to stick. Now, I've mixed some up. I've actually used two parts floor improver to one part of the metallic colour. It can be quite thick, um, so you will need to make sure you pull back on the hammer and make sure that you've got a toothbrush or something handy to be able to clean the tip. Um, I'm doing it as a Zenithal highlight, but I'm going to try and pick out certain points. I'm not going to try and do everything amazingly, we're just going to be picking, sorry, not everything everywhere, but we are just going to be picking out points. You will need to do several passes with this colour because it goes on, but it's very thin. The best thing to do is to get it where you want it. And then do an, come in for another pass. If you want to, you can block off areas. Attention, you'll get a lovely metallic white colour. It does take time, so make sure you're patient and keep sweeping it back and forth. So, as you can see, Xenophil highlight, uh, put it in the areas that I want to put it in. And now I'm going to use Nasdrag Yellow on. I'm just pouring that straight into the actual airbrush. You can see there it gets a nice yellowy pattern out. I do a bit of a test there. You can see. And then we're just going to effectively put this all onto what I would consider the armor panels. Painted up, we've got quite a nice goldy yellow looking figure. Now, what I'm going to do is to uh, paint in mechanical recesses. I'm just going to go in with some lead belcher and we're just going to paint up uh, that, those particular parts. So, we have the silver on now, usual for silver. We're going to highlight it and of course we're going to shade it. Uh, we're going to use null oil for a shade. We'll shade all the silver parts that I've painted 
And then we're going to uh, use some necro compound and possibly some storm horse silver as the highlight method. Now, for storm horse silver, just do an edge highlighting. The Necron compound is mainly going to be used for anything that's a little bit larger. Just make sure you use a small dry brush when doing this particular part. I'm not showing this bit because everyone else does. You just use a larger shade brush, a small dry brush, and you just paint it on, let it dry, and then carry on with the next piece. Now, apologies, I have skipped ahead one spot. That's only to add some um, um, gracia into these little pieces here you see them um, sort of ropes and i've also done it on the eyes now what i'm going to be doing is the little details it's always good with the little details just to be able to uh the arms and the way and the face is probably on camera and um, just to quickly do them i think nowadays in uh, these contrast paints um simply because you can get it done real quick so what we're going to do careful, careful, careful. Careful, careful. Careful. this will do actually um, we're going to use the contrast paints again, so we've got the Nasdaq yellow back out and we've got Black Tempires black, that's going to be added to some of the pipes, I know we've done the pipe silver so that will make it look like a dark silver, I do need to paint that up with um, grey here actually, that's my fault, but we're going to use contrast black on some of these pipes, that will make them look like a metallic pipe or an armoured cable, um, we're going to use the pink we're going to do that on the front jaws here and possibly on one of those nodes and then the red is going to be painted into the eyes now when you paint it into the eye you're going to try and get it so it just touches the outer bit of the eye and kind of gives it a bit of a glow and there's not going to be much else to do we are going to be doing some patterns into the shoulders but i'm quite liking the look of this beast uh, being quite one solid color uh, with some little bits in there and then of course we're just going to go on to the basin but I will show you what patterns I wanted some hazard some black and white hazard stripes so I'm going to show you how to do that but like I say pipes front mandibles eyes that's for the cables and purple I'm just going to paint this bit here purple so that bit and that bit pink that bit purple cables you know what you're doing you, you're good enough to know what you're going to do for next stage so we're going to create some black and white stripes in there i am a bit nervous because if this goes wrong i'm gonna to have to do a hell of a lot on this figure so i've got some bad and black i've tried to thin it down as best i can about black is not the most stable of paints in my opinion it always seems to go a bit gloopy or sloppy or even oily and i'm just going to fill it in these panels we only require two coats of this, it's going to be panels on both sides. So I've painted my solid black on, just as a possible can. I've actually highlighted it as well in the corners with a little bit of dark deeper. Now what I'm going to do, I have, I think it's a 0.03 mm, no, 3 mm tape? Might be a 3 mm tape. Uh, but basically I've got some very thin uh, modelling masking tape. And the reason it's modelling masking tape is because it's not as sticky as your normal masking tape and it allows you to put it in the way you need it um, quite effectively without actually pulling your paint off. You can also um, use one of these to try and make sure that you push the tape right into the recesses, especially like sort of like into the corners, making sure that it's all stuck on there. And we're going to create the pattern Probably only going to be a couple of lines of white, but we are going to be able to create it nicely. Once we've got that down, I'll bring you into the colours. I'm just sure you can have an idea. I've stripped off a little tiny bit and I've used that corner piece to push it right into the corner. Now what I'm going to do is to lay another one over the top next to it. The reason I'm doing that is because it then gives you the defining solid line. So if you get another little piece off, it's very difficult sometimes to find the edge on there. Find it. So it just, you don't even need scissors with this stuff, so it just comes away quite nicely. So we find the other, another edge. And try and put, try and layer it up the best you can. Thank you. 
I'm going to try and hit him with some rake this year. This is quite flush. Then I can take this one out. And you see, we're going to get our pattern. So, we don't have to waste it. We can use this one on the side. we we'll try and get the same angle if we can. And we're just going to repeat it on that side as well. So, now we've got our little bits on. It's only really going to be a way to tiny. That was white. We're going to use admin grey. So, admin stratum grey. Make sure you turn it down a little. I'm running that space on my homemade wet palette. But there we go. Um, so, you just make sure to fit it down a little. So, we're there. And we're going to paint it as neat as we can. Well, don't get me wrong. But you can get it neat to away from that and then take it away from the other side. Same on the other side, it is going to require two coats to make sure that you get them. So I'm going to make sure that I can remember I need those coats. So, we're going to finish the games workshop paint, dry pretty quick. As you can see, it's already on there, and now I'm going to put uh, some Ufferum Grey. Oh, yep, Ufferum, that one. And I'm going to kind of try and concentrate it in the middle, and I'm going to try and leave the edges as best as I possibly can. Again, just make sure that you're pulling from both directions. Need a couple of coats. Doesn't take two seconds really. And of course, apply again. So, white stripe on that. Did pretty good. Right, need to do whatever you do normally, you guys, to your own bases. All these. And uh, let's get some transfers on. And there you have it. I based it now. And done. And it didn't take that long. I've even put some transfers on. Some of these are from Green Stuff World to the Games Workshops, so and I'll put a little mechanical symbol on the back if you've got to. Um, some of those are from Mechanical Squad, and of course, that Mark uh, MK4 is from Green Stuff World, one of their transfer sheets. It's always good to have transfer sheets from other companies. But that's it. Take that off. It's all vanished. It's all good. Jobs are good. So I've now got a unit in a metallic looking yellow slash gold that can now be added to my team well thank you very much for watching this guys i'm recording these while i am now homebound at the moment i think a lot of these are going to be uh, with the covid 19. thankfully i do actually do a work job where i can work from home although hearts out to those guys that uh, struggling during this time and of course Buying lots of buckler. Uh, oh well. Uh, thanks for watching anyway. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you do want to see more. And, uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing next, but it's going to be an interesting ride because there's going to be a lot more painting videos that I'm unable to get out to be able to actually get some um, gaming in uh, for recording. But it is going to be a painting session, but. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can get two paint videos out of That will be quite nice, just to tide me over until uh, this effectively blown over. I might be able to get some of it, but it's going to be kind of far between. But thank you very much guys, we'll see you next time.